Hello everyone, this is uh, Terry Ben. So today I'll be doing a an adventure quest guide. Okay, so well, let's go. And right now where we are is actually at the uh, quest adventure quest number two location. So let me get this. Okay, for adventure quest number one. You will get it when uh, it's actually part of the um, side quest line where you will get it for sure from Lord Jax uh, in the in the manor. Okay, and then where we are right now is actually um, as you can see, the thing is to use Leap of Faith to get to Steam Valley site. All right. And right now where we are right now is the area and this is the NPC that you have to speak with uh, to get the adventure quest triggered all right so that's uh, pretty much uh, adventure quest number two so now let's go towards adventure quest number three okay number three will be Daisy so let's go. Okay, from this point on, I will sh give you a tip on how to trigger, how I did to trigger my adventure quest. Okay, as you can see at the uh, top right corner right here, okay so this is the channel uh menu and you click and then you come to this interface whereby you see all the channel so what i did is that i channel hop until the adventure quest triggers uh so there is no need for you to actually uh click on the npc and talk with the npc there's no require for that uh requirement for that so you basically just uh change instance uh, channel change channel until it actually props Okay, so right here we have um, Daisy which is uh, adventure quest number three and Next we'll be going to adventure quest number four, which is York. Okay, so he's just uh, slightly outside um, uh, This area which I'll bring you to him Okay, he's just over here Okay, so this is York, and just to show you on the map itself, where is he? All right. So next is Adventure Quest number four. That was four, and this is five. So four and five is actually the same person. So do take note that the um, the level requirement over here, uh, number four is. 31 where else for number 5 it's 35 all right uh, same thing channel hop until it triggers okay next is um, adventure quest number 6 all right so you just have to hit back to the manor all right so number 6 will be common here all right and within the manner itself so it's pretty straightforward and then followed by seven okay so seven is a bit unique you will need to have a an identified treasure map the blue one uh, within your inventory okay and then next you just have to be uh, well, she's just right next to Carmen uh, in the manor. So just come to her with an identified uh, blue color treasure map, and that should allow you to trigger the adventure quest. Okay, next up will be it. Okay, it is a bit unique. All right, so let's get there first, and I'll show you. Okay, Flora Forest. Here we go. 
So for lilac will be over here where I'm highlighting Okay, and that's where I will go So for adventure quest number 8 is a bit unique is because uh, you actually need a party of 5 So you can actually find uh, someone uh, Or rather you have to find, find uh, 4 other people to do the adventure quest with you Okay, so when you are in a party of 5 uh, For this one you do not need to channel hop Okay, you just need to have 5 people and then have them sit on this little chest to one two three four five so you actually need five people who are not afk competent enough to click on a chair and sit on it after that lilac will actually trigger the uh adventure quest so uh just let me be competent enough and sit see see the dialogue Okay, let me do that again. Okay, that's the dialogue. Okay, it pretty much tells you that it won't. Uh, the adventure quest will not start if there's no, if you do not have it, five people. Okay, let's move on to the next adventure quest. Okay, this one is uh. Same thing in Flora. I believe all of you know where uh, this guy is. So Zaza. Okay, let's go. Uh, if I remember where he is. Okay, it's a bit tricky. There we go. So um, this is adventure quest number uh, nine, father and son. Okay. So at level forty, just speak with Zaza, and that will. Uh, okay. Technically, you don't speak with him. Okay, you don't speak with Zaza. Uh, probably you just uh, need to. You just need to channel hop until it triggers. All right. Okay. Next will be. Okay, sorry, I forgot to show you on the map itself. Where are we? Okay, so this is where we are, at the highlighted portion. Okay, next up, adventure quest number ten. 10 and 11 I have not unlocked it yet but I will show you where it is okay basically 10 is a uh, Romeo and then 11 is Ernie okay so it's uh, pretty straightforward so Romeo is located within uh, the Merkin village in eternal coast uh, we are heading there right now And then probably I'll just do a channel hop and see if it procs the adventure quest. Okay, so here we are at Romeo. Okay, that's Romeo. And now I'm going to do a channel hop and see if it triggers. Okay, it doesn't. Alright, I'll just move on to 11. So this is uh, this is where Romeo is, all right. And then for eleven, it's basically uh, it's easy to find. It's actually right here where the resource is. Okay, so let's go. Number eleven will be Ernie. Yeah, so. Just run, 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 and there we go. So, so here we go. This is Ermi, right here, and then it is just right behind the peacock stone. So this is pretty much uh, very obvious. Okay, 
and next we have um, 12 uh, which is Dahlia okay uh, for 10 and 11 is uh, I have not been able to trigger is because uh, it just doesn't let me trigger but for level wise definitely I would have cleared it okay so for Dahlia will be uh, Adventure Quest 12 so she is over here Okay, let me show you on the map. That's right here. Okay, and there we go. Dahlia. And this is where we are on the map itself. Okay. And next, uh, we have Adventure Quest 13. Oh no, sorry. Oh yes, uh, 13 will be Dahlia too. Okay. So for 12, the requirement will be 42. And then for... 13 the requirement will be 45 okay and next we have um, number 14 okay so for 14 you it will be the same as number 2 and 1 which you will have to go to the of faith uh, okay so Leap of Faith is actually over at the bottom corner where I'm highlighting around. This is the place where you do the Leap of Faith. So I will teleport over here. Okay. So the thing about Leap of Faith is that it will randomly drop you into three locations. The first one was where we, uh, where you saw for Adventure Quest number two. The second place will be in Flora for Forest. And then the third place will be at the Eternal Coast Orphan Isle. So let's see, try our luck and see if we land on Orphan Isle. Oh yes, on one try. Booyah. Okay, so basically, uh, let me change to a channel where there's lesser people. Okay, this is a very famous uh, level 20 fishing spot. Okay, uh, a lot of people fish here. And then, if you are actually fishing, you might want to come here when you're level 20. Okay, so this small tapir here is uh, the NPC that we want for Adventure Quest. For this one, you will need to speak with the NPC to trigger it. Okay, uh, you do not need to channel hop. Once your criteria is enough, uh, once your criteria is... Uh, you meet the requirement, just uh, need to buy sprite biscuit okay and where and how do you do it okay so basically you just need to go to trading and then um, marketplace sprite and sprite upgrade okay and this is the one that you will need to buy for the NPC for the adventure quest to work alright so this is adventure quest 14 next 15 okay uh, this one will actually be triggered at the Jack's Manor okay let's go there oh before I go over maybe I should show you the how the NPC looks like okay so you will be able to have a better idea okay let's go here to take a look at the NPC so basically for is it 17 let's see uh yep for 15 onwards you will be looking from 15 to 20 you will be looking at for the same NPC okay so i will just show you how the npc looks like okay and there we are 
Okay, zoom in. So this is the guy you'll be wanting to look for, okay? Apparently, uh, after I cleared the adventure quest, uh, this is the only location that it will show for me. And this is uh, your adventure quest number 18, okay? So I will skip 18 later because uh, we are already at we are already at 18. Okay, and so the requirement for 18 to trigger is that you have to complete Okay, the holy You have to complete adventure quest number 17 and reach level 38 before you are able to trigger Okay, and then for 15 will be Okay, you have to complete the side quest kings of the coast reach level 25 before you are able to trigger Okay, so now let's go to uh, Steam Valley. Okay, so for fifteen, it will actually trigger around this area. Okay. Uh, mine triggered when I was running towards uh, Daisy. All right, so it's quite a huge area, but if you don't trigger it, just a uh, channel hop until it does. All right. Okay, next is um sixteen. Okay, forest edition. Forest edition will be the criteria will be you have to finish 15 and reach level 28. Alright, so and then the NPC will appear. So for uh, 16, it will actually be the same area where um, Zaza was earlier. Okay, so let's go look for Zaza right now. Okay, not here. Here. Okay. Um, this is where the NPC will be uh, for Adventure Quest um, 17. Or rather, 16, sorry. Okay. For Adventure Quest 16. Okay. Um, this is where the NPC will be. Alright. So now. Next for Adventure Quest 17, it will be at the city of Thal. Um, let's go to the floating plaza and then I'll run towards the area where it triggered. Alright, so I have to look for the Sprite NPC. Okay, so um, for Adventure Quest 17, okay, so this is where I am. Oh, sorry, wrong color. Okay, I will use red. So this is where I am. All right. So I was actually traveling along this stretch and it triggered for me. Okay, so you might need to just, uh, if it doesn't trigger for you, just uh, change channel uh, and then uh, just run around and just make sure that you actually meet the requirement, which is to complete the forest edition, reach level 32, and it should trigger for you. Okay, next up is the coast edition, which I've covered earlier, and then I will just skip it. And then for 19 is the Marsh Edition, okay? So I will just go through. So basically you have to complete 18, reach level 41, okay? Reach uh, level 41 before it triggers. Okay, for the Marsh one, it's actually pretty easy because uh, the Marsh... Uh, the NPC will actually be 
at the cannon area so that is where you want to go to all right so we won't go there right now and then i'll cover 20 basically 20 will be at roaring gorge um okay let's go there Okay, let's go to the channel where there's lesser population. Okay, so um, this is where the NPC will be for Adventure Quest 20. All right, so let's see the requirement to unlock. Okay, so for Venture Quest 20, you have to complete uh, 19 and then reach level 51 for it to trigger. Okay, so that pretty much covers the, all the Adventure Quest. Um, well, please uh, leave uh, a comment below if anything that doesn't look uh, or anything that I did not cover and would be good if you could subscribe. So this is Terry Ben. I'll see you again at the next video. Bye.